Hello and welcome to another Take Two Capital video, where currently we are discussing trading in the Forex market. It's the summertime and you are probably wondering if you can actually make money in a time like this. I will say yes, yes you can, but you will have to change how you see the charts. So let's get into it. All right, we're on the Aussie dollar daily time frame, and I'm trying to find an entry. If I wanted to get in this trade, where where could I get it? What am I looking at? How can I see this is a naked chart? Am I going to go long? Am I going to go short? What what's going on? So basically, what I would normally do is try to see what already transpired on the chart. So I will end up drawing a couple of trend lines just to get a gist of where we at. Let me pinpoint some uh, market movement. Let me see what I had as potential moves. Um, basically I'm looking for a consensus. I'm trying to get my eyes to see exactly what's going on and maybe from there I can see an entry. And oftentimes I find myself missing entries because I couldn't see it. I can't see exactly how I should get in the market and the confidence level goes down from there. And as you know, to trade in the currency market, you need to have confidence to take the trade, to risk the money so you can bring that money home to your family. So if we're gonna build confidence, then we need a better visual. Now, there are some traders out here who strictly trade price action. They have support and resistance. They do trend line breaks. Yes, you can win if you're that type of trader. If you can see it, I implore you to use that method, make that money, bring the money home to your family. But if you're like me and need a visual, something else that can help you build that confidence level to Assure yourself that you can win in the market that time and time again, the strategy you have chosen will work for you. Then you need something similar to what I've already been showing you in previous videos. And that's the triple arrow. That is simplicity. That is Sudi's Forex. Let's go to the Aussie dollar on a uh, daily time frame but with the triple arrows on, on screen. All right, so basically we have the same currency pair. We have the same time frame. That's the daily chart. But we have a little bit more on the chart. We have support and resistance. We have a channel. We have the MACD. Uh, we, we have the triple arrows, basically letting you know right in your face that the market can do a reversal and it can extend for a period of time that period of time could be you know 100 200 maybe a thousand pips let's do the math on that real quick we're talking about within this channel it's 1500 pips just within that channel so what can you get out of the 1500 pips if this market go in your favor? Triple arrows, as you see, uh, we have an entry. We had a minor pullback. We had a breakout. Anybody know, according to my previous videos, I've, I've talked about this breakout. I mentioned it numerous times. That is a strategy within itself. As you see, I have the 50 moving average line also on this template as well and there you go we have an entry to get in the market so let's just say this is your entry we have a full body candle closed after or break through the 50 moving average line and even with a little bit of drawdown we end up getting out 560 560 pips so is this a winning trade? Absolutely. Can you do it time and time again? Uh, probably so. Basically, we, we need to go in and confirm, right? Let's let's check some other pairs. One of my favorite pairs is the Euro Kiwi daily time frame. Don't like this thing did much from what I see, but let's add it up anyway. 
We got to close below. The close did not happen here. So we did not enter here. We entered here. All right. Draw down. Some more draw down. Got a breakout. All right. With that breakout, we're sitting at uh, 700 pips. 700 pips is a good move, right? Again, daily chart. Just look at another pair. Euro yen. Triple arrows came in. You have a close here. Go to drawdown. Breakout. Exit. 572 pips. Let's look at another one because I, I can I can do this all day. I can do this all day. And basically, all I'm trying to show you is we are confirming that on a higher time frame, you still can win. And you can win often. But you got to back test. You got to be able to confirm for yourself that this works for you. Oz, when we, what is this? A Euro Aussie? Yep. Euro Aussie, daily time frame. We're still in it. 8.93. And I'm waiting for, waiting for a uh, big arrow to show. This is also considered a choppy scenario. So anyone new to trading, once again to a choppy scenario, there's due for a breakout. However, I'm already at the bottom of the channel, so I'm out. Uh, if I didn't get out here, I'm pretty much out in this in this area, somewhere in here. I'm not gonna go too much longer because technically we can end up going in a reverse. And there's no reason to have any more drawdown if you're already in profit. So yeah, I'll be out. Not sure why break even is up, so we can say goodbye to that. Must be doing a test. <laughs> I'm all I'm always back testing, trying to figure out. Uh, let's see what is going on with these charts. Oh, I remember this trade a while back. Oh yeah, I like clean entries. You see, triples came in, we went flat. So I wasn't looking at even getting in, even though that's a signal. I already noticed we was going in the choppy pattern. Definitely did not get in. Basically, you just waited. Um, even here, I remember being in on this pair at this point, and then getting in drawdown. So I ended up getting in again in this area, turn around. Then I got doubles. Once I got the doubles, that was just extra confirmation for me to say, "Oh, so you're definitely staying in." And you just ride away. It was a very good look. I should have had that in the video, but I think I had another pair on a video. Uh, but here's another potential entry because we got triples going through the short, going, going down, and we have doubles almost ready to confirm. If it happens like that, then I may get in a little short. Definitely. And so that's a potential trade alert. Again, the parameters have to line up, and if it doesn't, if it keeps squandering in this area, then I will be even thinking about it. I'll just be going to a different pair. And if I miss it, I miss it. Uh, made definitely enough in this pair that I'm not tripping. But here's another weird setup. So if you even got in, if you took a chance and got in at one of these entries here, and uh, what was it, one here and one here, then you would have ended up getting out at break even on this pair. That's can happen. Sometimes it happens, as you can see. If you got it down here, it would have been a winner, but this one, not so much and you would have moved on. All right, we have triples. I don't. I generally don't like this per se, but nonetheless, it's still a winner. Uh, you would have been in consolidation had you got in here. Once we had a breakout, which is here, we rolled that up. It's close to 430 pips, which is a good look. Or if you got in here, then let's see, 373, 373, and the other entry is here. You ride into there, yep, 430 pips. You ride into the channel. I'm waiting for another big arrow to form. Uh, otherwise, you just ride to the end of the channel and you keep it moving. There's various strategies, 
strategies you can use to get out of this trade, but uh, it kind of depends on what it is you see most profitable for you. And we stress that big over here at Take Two Capital. What do you see? And how can you realize profit on based on what you've seen? Uh, and that's it. I, I'm not gonna make the video too long. I wanna make sure everyone understands that even on the daily time frame, you can make money. Uh, I will be showing a lot more trades down the road uh, as they are setting up. I do recognize that we are in the summer, so summer months may not produce big moves. Be aware that we are dealing with summer doldrums, plus we're dealing with uncertainty in the market. Things are different right now. Things are not like they used to be, but we as currency traders need to adapt. We need to be aware that, hey, if we're doing a tighter range, well, let's just trade within that tight range and let's still make our money because dollars still have to be moved. Uh, currencies still have to flow between countries therefore there's going to be movement you have to be aware of how your trading style can adapt to that movement and man i mean you, you can do a lot on the daily chart you know you don't have to be at your charts that often i check my daily time frame maybe 10 minutes a day i'm only just checking to see we are, where we are are we still with the rules uh, should i be looking to move my take profit making sure that I'm not in unnecessary drawdown and we grow from there. Daily time frame is a good place to really take trades, especially if you're new. The larger the time frame, the more accurate the signal so you can get used to winning. Once you get used to winning, you won't mind the losers that happen every now and then because you now have confidence level built up and you're able to focus more on your trading stock you can better manage your trades once you have a few wins and you can build. That's how I learned. That's how I became profitable is learn trading the higher time frames and then starting to, you know, trickle down to the lower time frames. Now I trade at a higher from a higher time frame, but I also take entries from the 15 minute, which majority of my entries come from 15 minutes. Uh, and that's on my intraday accounts. So basically you can uh, see the long long-term aspect of trading trading daily time frame and you also can trade the the in between on the lower time frame so there's been many of trades i've taken on the higher time frame in one account and then i only trade it in that direction on the lower accounts that's pretty much how i do it and, and anyone who does a basic analysis that's generally what you're looking to do anyway you can trade a pullback you can trade within a tight range if you want to you just have to be well aware of what type of market we are in, what type of conditions that we're dealing with, and whether or not we have any news coming out that's already been um, set that could wave our our focus. You know, if we have any fundamentals that's coming out in, in, in an hour or so, sometimes I might wait until after that hour is up to see what happened before I even take the trade. If you find this information valuable and would like to see more content like this in the future, then please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the up and coming topics.